But castor oil penetrates very deep and it penetrates deeper than any other oil. So it can be used externally. That was Barbara O'Neill, a health educator talking about castor oil. Barbara is also a nutritionist with a passion for helping people achieve optimal wellness through natural and holistic approaches. Today, we're going to explore the incredible healing power of a traditional remedy that has been used for centuries, castor oil. Castor oil is derived from the seeds of the castor plant and has a long history of use in various cultures for its medicinal properties. This versatile oil can be used to address a wide range of ailments, from skin conditions to digestive issues, and even for pain relief. In this video, we'll delve into the many benefits of castor oil, the science behind its healing properties, and how you can incorporate it into your wellness routine. We'll cover topics such as the anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties of castor oil. The use of castor oil packs for detoxification and pain relief. Tips on using castor oil for best practices for using castor oil. Whether you're new to natural remedies or looking to expand your knowledge, you're in the right place. Barbara will explore the amazing benefits of castor oil and teach us how this simple, natural remedy can enhance your health and well-being. Let's listen to Barbara tell us more about what castor oil can do for us. And what it does, wherever castor oil penetrates, it breaks up lumps, bumps, congestions, adhesions. It can even break up a bone spur. What else can it do? It can break up tumours. I have known women have told me this that's broken up lumps in the breast and those lumps may be cysts or even breast cancer. That was an amazing tip. How do you use it? Remember castor oil penetrates deeper than any other oil. <coughs> now to use castor oil you make a little pack. Now this is not really a, a um, poultice, it's more a compress. So you'll notice I've got an old tea towel here so you can use an old towel or something like that. And I'm going to put the castor oil on. Castor oil is very thick and it takes a little while to uh, soak in. So all I do is do about a middle third of the whole area. So I don't really want to hold it up because it's going to run. So can you see how much I've put on? But by the end of the meeting that will have all soaked in. So I say to people, when you're using castor oil, pour it in and don't touch it for about half an hour and that will soak in. Castor oil is also valued for its ability to relieve constipation when taken orally due to its strong laxative effect. Its versatility extends to being a natural remedy for joint pain and muscle soreness where it is applied topically and massaged into the skin. Where can this compress be applied? Now that's a really good area to put on the abdomen. Now if castor oil is applied to the abdomen, it will heal any problems in the abdomen. So what have we got in abdomen? For a woman, um, there's the uterus. So that will penetrate and break up fibroids in the uterus. That will penetrate and break up cysts on the ovaries. That will penetrate and soften the colon if the person has constipation. That will penetrate into the colon and heal the colon if the, if the person has bad diarrhea. Where else can we apply it? So whether it's diarrhea, irritable bowel, or whether it's constipation, the castor oil will go in and it will penetrate very, very deep and it causes a cleansing and a healing in that area. It's a remarkable herb. So what else does the castor oil do in this area? So you can use it to break up um, gallstones. So you would put it, say, on the liver area under the right rib. You may put it at the back to break up kidney stones. By the way, fun fact, 
castor oil is derived from the seeds of the Racinus communist plant and has been used for centuries for its wide range of health and wellness benefits. It is renowned for its potent anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties, making it a popular choice for treating skin conditions such as acne, dermatitis, and fungal infections. Barbara will now tell us about another use of castor oil. I've known people that have had bone spurs, say on the knee, and they'll apply the castor oil compresses. Barbara will now tell us a story about a client of hers who used castor oil. We had a lady do our program. She had bone spurs on both knees. <laughs> and she also had tumors in her abdomen. After doing our program, it's two years now, and both two tumors have totally gone. Her oncologist can't believe it. So she had a total lifestyle change. And she was doing also the castor oil compresses on the knees for her, knee spur, her bone spurs on her knees. She said after, I think it was six weeks, they'd, cut, they'd gone down by half. She said she forgot to do it, and she noticed a, a month later, they were gone. <laughs> what causes bone spurs? Now, last night we looked at the acid-alkaline balance, and it's a high-acid diet which causes these um, deposits of calcium on the bones. So she also changed her diet so that she was not having a high acid diet anymore. Additionally, castor oil is a powerful moisturizer often used to combat dry skin and hair. It can stimulate hair growth, improve scalp health, and even strengthen eyelashes and eyebrows. Are there other areas where castor oil compresses can be used? They work with the needs of your body. So the castor oil can be a very important part of a program on something like, well, anything that I have just suggested. Now that's already um, soaking in quite well. Can you see that? Castor is like magic. Now because it's a compress, this can be reused again and again and again. So a person might use it a dozen times. How long does the compress last? Now, if someone's using it for, let's say, a fibroid on the uterus, in the uterus, they might wear it overnight. Or some people say, well, I don't like wearing it overnight. So I say, well, just wear it for at least five hours a day, for at least five days a week. Little by little by little, it'll penetrate and start breaking up any unnatural growths in the area. What else do we need to know about the compress? Every time, let's say someone wears it overnight and they're going to wear it the next night, they might put another little teaspoon in. You'll get to know when it starts to dry a bit. And one person said, well, can't I just rub the castor oil into the area? You'll just get a light layer then. And any clothes you put on it are going to get castor oil on them and that is no fun to get out of your clothes. But with this compress, it's a vehicle. It's a vehicle to hold the oil. And the thicker the compress, the more oil it can hold and the more oil is available to go into you. Furthermore, castor oil packs, which involve soaking a cloth in warm castor oil and placing it on the abdomen, are traditionally used to enhance detoxification, support liver function, and alleviate menstrual cramps. Its wide-ranging applications make castor oil a staple in many households for promoting overall health and well-being. Remember, your health is the lock, and we're here to provide the keys. Keep turning to Key Health for insights that unlock your full potential. The key to lifelong vitality is in your hands. It's just one bite away.